One woman was killed in the crash, but somehow, some way, the 19-year-old who was behind the wheel of this car, pinned underneath that truck, managed to walk away with a body ache and a bad black eye. That young woman was on spring break from college when the truck rear-ended a car on I-94 in St. Clair Shores. And tonight she tells us what happened in the seconds leading up to that terrible crash. Mar McDonald is in Macomb Township tonight. And Mar, you look at that video and it is amazing she's alive. It is, Sandra, completely amazing. And she's, I think, amazed herself. She tells me that she saw the truck in her rearview mirror, realized what was about to happen, remembers the boom of the impact, but doesn't remember how she got in the position she ended up in. I just saw the semi just come probably 60, 65 miles an hour right into the white car. The panel truck that plowed into her hit another sedan first, killing that driver. I just saw the car just almost explode. It, it was crazy. I, I've never seen anything like it and I knew it was coming right for me too. I remember the, the boom in the back of my car. Um, I don't remember how I got into the position I was in. Um, I, I don't remember ducking to the side um, or anything like that. She opened her eyes and marveled she was alive. Kind of did an inventory of my, my legs and I, real, I was like, okay, nothing's broken. I can feel my feet, I can feel my legs. I checked my arms. My one arm was down by the steering wheel. My other arm was stretched out towards the passenger side. My back was bent at an angle like this and my neck was craned down on top of my, um, my center console. And she was trapped. And I just remember the, this female firefighter um, saying to me, you know, telling me everything was going to be okay. They were going to get me out of here. Adrenaline kicked in hard while the firefighters were drilling to get her out. Then it was an ambulance and then the hospital. I definitely think now that I was, you know, I was saved for a reason. There's, there's something I have to do and, you know, with my life that I may or may not have gotten the opportunity to do before this accident. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what that is because I, I might not have gotten that opportunity before. Back here live, I thought Nicole was incredibly poised for what she's been through over the last 24 hours, and I told her so, and I asked her, you know, why are you so collected about all this? And it turns out she's a sophomore at Grand Valley, and she's studying nursing, and she had considered being a trauma nurse prior to this. After this, it's what she wants to do. We're live in Macomb Township tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Sandra, Jace. Back to you. Yeah, Mar, her story absolutely incredible. How are her parents dealing with all of this tonight? <laughs> I think her parents are taking this harder than she is. They, they, you know, she lost her phone in the car, so she couldn't call her mom and dad mm -hmm. and let them know what had happened. The hospital had to call them. They get the call. Your child has been in an accident. And to see that video, they are shaken up. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, to Back say to the you. least. Yeah, that video just makes your heart drop. All right. Thank you, Mara.